Hi, it's Saturday morning and I just got done meeting with some Gideon fellas and uh, I gotta say there may just be some more things coming out here in the next couple of weeks about some stuff with the Gideons but hopefully not. Hopefully I'll just be able to carry on with why I got into the organization in the first place, that is to hand out God's Word. But you know, it's very important that we first of all understand that we do have God's Word. And we do, in God's Word, the King James Bible. Now, I know a lot of you recoil. Ah, you know, I've heard people that are talking about the King James Bible before and they're all full obtrusive and they get in your face and they're all mean and everything. Well, you know, if you look at some of my older videos, you'll find uh, hopefully that I am not a mean guy and that I don't get in anybody's face and I mean how can you not get in somebody's face on YouTube when it's just my face in the video and your face watching but you know I can't really see your face so I'm not getting in your face really and that's not what my whole deal is all about anyway if you look in my older videos you can find out but here's the interesting thing you know right in square one about the whole Bible issue how could it not be important? You know, it says in Psalms that God places His Word above His name. That's an interesting thought too because, you know, there's folks today that want to place such importance on all these different versions of God's name and yet they want to downplay the importance of God's Word. Something wrong with this picture? <laughs> yeah, it's fallen over. But seriously, you know, God's, God, that's how much importance God has placed upon His Word. Look, just do a search, you know, within the King James Bible. I ask you humbly to do that. You know, go online on the uh, KingJamesBible.com or KingJamesBible.org, whichever it is. And just do a search on word and words and just do it in the New Testament see what it says you know what comes up see the importance that Jesus places upon words in the beginning was the word and the word was with God the word was God you say yes because Jesus is the word that's absolutely right the word of God the Bible is all about Jesus so yeah that's what I'm talking about but there is God is capable of preserving his word in the English language. You know, the, the whole notion of languages is not difficult for God. God got it right. And there's, there's lots of details that are webbed in that the devil has placed in to make it so that it's all such a, a tricky, deceptive mess and it's impossible to argue. And I believe that's why Jesus said when he's talking about the Pharisees, you know, they came... They, the, the disciples came to the Pharisees and they, or Jesus and they said, Don't you realize you've offended these guys with what you said? You know, with his words? Stephen was accused of, of uh, using words to stir up the people and in Acts 7, in Acts 6 and 7. And, and it was the Alexandrians, the ones who actually monkeyed up God's word years ago, that brought Stephen before the council. But Jesus, when he responded to the disciples, he said, Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, they shall both fall into the ditch. Let them alone. That's why I don't engage in arguments with folks who don't believe that God has been able to... that God has preserved his word in the King James Bible. That's why I don't argue with these folks. Plus, it drives a wedge and it causes people to go further away from accepting that truth. So I've asked you before, and I ask you again, ask God. He won't do you wrong. He'll give you the right answer. All right, so I ask you to do that. Ask the Lord. And uh, thanks for watching.